hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today I've got a really exciting video for you all I'm going to put in an entire haul <laughs> So this, I haven't done one for, well I've done one like, not even like two weeks ago. But I thought I'd do another one because I've collected quite a good amount of things up. But before we get started, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and down below. Because I'm trying to get to 5k and that would mean the world to me. And let's try and get this video to 300 likes. I don't, we've done it before quite a lot but I don't know, let's try and get it so hit that like button. Also I have hit 3,000 followers on Instagram. <laughs> And I have a giveaway going up right now, and it is this one here. And you have three chances of winning because there's three giveaway prizes. But the last two went thing won't load. But yeah, s makeup dot underscore. Go follow me as well. And yeah, well now we're gonna get started. <laughs> so the first thing I have for you on this current year of date is this camera wonky because I feel like it's a bit wonky. There. Is that better? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so the first thing I have is actually the... By the way, I'm getting all of these off of Trend Boo's Instagram. And I'm not going to insert pictures because I really can't be bothered. So I'm just going to show you. It is the KKW Times Mario um, palette. So this is what it looks like here. And that's like the palette. Okay. First of all, I find this palette to be quite boring. And... I mean, I loved how they like advertised it and everything like that, but I find it so boring. I think the only cool thing in it is a pop of blue, but we've never really seen Kim Kardashian wear blue eyeshadow, so I don't really understand. I mean, fair enough if they want to put blue in it, but to be honest, no. No. Hmm? <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. There's, okay, so how much is this? I think it's quite a good price. I think it's $35, but don't quote me on that because I'm not entirely sure. $35 I think it is, oh, wait hang on, and also um, I like how they've used like different skin tones, that's quite good, this is from Kim Kardashian's Instagram, but what have they done with the eyeshadow, I don't get it, why have, why have they blended it all around the eye, I don't, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a little tiny bit confused, just a little bit, does anyone get me, um, let me just try and find swatches of the palette, okay here's a, okay, here's a better picture of the palette, well, there's no good pictures of it. Hang on. All right, here's a breakdown of the colours. Okay, so here is the colours. Here. Uh, 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 mm, mm, mm. That's all right, that blue. But why? I don't. I don't feel like you could create a good look out of this because there's mostly mattes and not really many shimmers. If other looks of things, and I just don't like it. I really don't like it. It's just boring to me. I find it a bit boring and plain and stereotypical. But to me, I like bright colours. So that's just my opinion. Fenty Beauty Glowing Skin. Um, summer 2018 collection and it's the body love no the body basically the whole collection it is most basically this one though because I think it's beautiful but that dark one I wouldn't wear and that is quite nice for pale skin tone yes but I don't know I just feel like it's really not worth the money $59 $59 mm, no and I wouldn't even wear that I don't really wear body highlighter I don't I'm not like I don't really have my shoulders that much even in the summer I mean, it looks beautiful, she looks gorgeous in it, but... $59! That's like $60 for a tube! I mean, apparently the bottle's really big, but still, it's just not my thing. So I'm very sorry, Riri. Bad girl Riri, that's what her Instagram I think. I think. Stop, stop, stop. Next, I have something from Buxom Cosmetics. It's a full-on plumping lip gloss polish. Um, I don't know where they were going with this, because... Yeah, the colours look kind of sweet. They look like the most stickiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, look. Look at them sticky swatches. Sticky swatches! Sticky. Sticky like when you get like, you know when you get like a soap and it sticks. Okay, that was not funny at all. Ugh, I don't get it. I'm sorry. I'm, and the names, they have Oriana. Okay, Oriana, yes. Uh, thank you. Or well, they have like loads of names of they have Camila, they have Selena. Oh, I didn't even realise that. Oh my god, okay, yeah, I might buy Oriana just because I love her to pieces. Yeah, they're cute, but they literally look so sticky. Like, you know what I mean? Like, some glosses they're fine, like, mm, peel off. Some glosses you get your hair on, and it's like, you can't get it off. And I don't know what the price is gonna be, but mm, no, I've never really been into Buxom. No, next I have some Kylie Cosmetics, um, some more things, their new lip kits, 
And all of these colours, I'm just not a fan of, basically. Kylie Cosmetics, I didn't say. Say No More is a bright pink. Oh, imagine me in a bright pink. Not going to happen. The red. Okay, red, the boss one is quite nice, but I should know. What is ironic? Is ironic that it looks like Shrek. I don't get it. It's it's like a khaki green. I mean, I can see this could look... Do you know what? That could look good on darker skin tones. That could. I think it would, actually. Yeah. Bear is all right, but it, I was more focusing on these three because, mm, no. And obviously, they're quite expensive still, like $29. No, I don't know. Probably even more than that. Next is... Oh, no. Oh, no. Mac times Alia's signature. Oh, no. Alia for Mac collection. <sighs> I don't, I, I hate this palette. I actually will stretch to say I really hate it. It is, I don't get it. I really don't, I don't get it. Does anyone else not get it? Because I don't get it. I, what is it? What? I'm so confused by it. Okay, I don't know who this would look good on. I really don't know. And I don't know how this would work on darker skin tones. And that's what I'm thinking of because all of the shades in here, I don't know how they would work on darker skin tones besides that gold. And maybe the purple, but I just I think it's ridiculous. I don't like the colours at all. I think the colours are absolutely appalling. I'm really sorry, Alia. Alia, I'm sorry. But I don't like that. I really don't like this palette. And for the price of no idea, but Mac are really slacking lately. I don't I know she was probably proud of this palette, proud of the colours. I am not. I am severely not. So that is a got so distracted and haven't been filming for like an hour so i'm back and next i have the smashbox times vladim muas i say it um some weird highlighter thing look at them how gorgeous they are okay they look so beautiful but it's a highlighter it's a it's a rose okay you're gonna start you're not gonna want to touch it because you want it to stay like a rose but really you take the rose out of it, it's just a highlighter. Everyone has one of these. Everyone has one of these colours. It is a goddamn boring highlighter, okay? A really, really boring one. And it's also a $40 highlighter as well. So I'm not there for it, but the packaging is so nice. It's aesthetic. And they look, oh, they look a bit chalky, don't they? Yeah, they definitely look a bit chalky. Well, I like the shape of her nails, though. The packaging's cute. But when you think it's a rose, when you think it's just a rose, it is a rose. But when you start using that rose up, it's not going to be a rose anymore. It's just going to be a flat highlighter with funny lumps in it. So you need to really think about your purchases and wasting $40 on a silly highlighter that you have a million of. Unless you don't have a highlighter. It's on my thing. Okay, I'm getting so fed up with Urban Decay. I don't know what's happened to them. They have really gone down a few notches, haven't they? Their new Light Beam palette. You're all going to feel a little bit sick when you see this. So if you have any food near you, any little children that you might not want to be sick on, I would move them away from you. What? What? Urban, urban decay? You make me want to decay. Hey, that wasn't funny at all. What is this? Oh my god, I can't. I can't deal. I don't, we don't know how much it is, but what? This is so crap. I'm sorry, this is a really bad palette. It really is. Nudie. That's a plain white shade. That's a brown shade. That's an orange. That is a sparkly silver shade. That's probably the only interesting thing. What's that? It's like my poo. It's literally like poo with sparkles in. I'm sorry, but what have they done? Urban Decay, what have you done? No. Oh no, the light beam. This it's like trying to call it the light beam, but really there's nothing light beamy about it. It's all uh, uh, kind of beam. Is anyone putting this is really nice? Yeah, everyone's putting ugly. Everyone's putting dead in it. <laughs> Why have Indica still launching things that nobody wants? I think they do need to have a reality check and start creating things that actually people want. I mean, the last palette that was actually all right was kind of like the Urban Decay Naked Heat, but I mean, no, they just keep making these weird palettes, and it's just like, what are you doing? Anyway, next is the Morphe Brushes Laura Lee's favourite brush collection. So, this is $54, but to be honest, mm, it just annoys me when these people come out with these collections. I don't know, it's, it was worth $81. $54 is a pretty good step down, but really, 
I don't want these. I have brushes all like this. And just because it says Laura Lee's favourite brush collection, I'm not going to buy it because it says Laura Lee, not what's the point. Next is these Guerlain, Guerlain, I think it is, or something like that. It's the Metal, Metal Rights collection, okay? So I'm going to be talking about one thing, and it's this weird balls. They look like bonbon sweets, and I don't know what they are. Are they high? Is it a highlighter? Because someone, is it a highlighter? Huh? What is it? I don't get it. Can someone, it's like, a, is it like a finishing thing you put over? I'm sorry, but it's ridiculous. And obviously, Ghislaine is going to be like, it's going to be probably like 200 quid for some little drops. Go to your local news agents, pick up a packet of bonbons. There you have it. Huh? I don't get it. I don't get it. And then next, oh my God, I swear one more person does this palette, I'm going to cry. BH Cosmetics, my Marvy Corn palette. Basically like a My Little Pony, but they're trying to be different, so they've put Marvy Corn. No. What is this? We aren't five years old, please. We we aren't five years old. We literally... <sighs> five years old, they have Claire's. We don't need all these My Little Pony collections. We don't need mermaids. Okay, mermaids and unicorns, they're all right, but My Little Pony, that took it, like... A step farther, a step too far, my little pony. All these shades are horrible. Ugh. Why are they I just there's a horrible brown, horrible black, horrible brown, a weird bright pink. No. I don't like this palette. It's so common. And just because they've put some purple, um I mean put a pop of pink, put of this like lagoony green colour. Oh, that's teal actually, isn't it? No. Suddenly, and are you rainbows and unicorns on it? Um, what's it called? A pony? A pony. Suddenly, it's like this amazing, cool palette that's different. It's not. It, put this on a normal coloured palette. This will look horrible because it's a normal palette that no one wants. So I'm really sorry, but yes. A new eyeshadow palette from Maybelline. It's the Lemonade Craze, and it looks like this. And this is only $14. But still, it's so boring. Oh my god, we've seen it all blimmin' before. I was gonna burn the Marie, sorry. Sherbet, we have it. We have all these colours. The only thing is Lemonade Craze. I, that's a nice yellow, I like it. And Sugar Coat is quite nice. And Ice Pop is quite nice, but that's three shades. All the rest of you all have. I have, you have. Your mum has, your dad has. Probably not your dad, though, but you know. Um, I don't like it. I d mm. This screams summer. Someone's oh, that's trim mood. It screams summer. It does scream summer, but I'm called summer, and this palette does not scream me. Oh my god, stop trying to be funny. It's not funny. I need to stop trying to be funny. Oh my god, everyone dislike this video, please. This I'm not funny. Everyone dislike. I'm I'm joking, but yeah, um, I'm not a fan. Basically, also if you have got offended by this video, please do not leave a mean comment because I'll just delete it and obviously in this video my aim is to say products I don't want to buy but if you like these products then there's nothing against you it, honestly these are just my opinions and if you like them colours in some of them palettes if you like that highlighter go for it buy it I'm not saying don't buy it this is just my opinion and yeah please don't sound rude in this video because I know I'm going to be rude and your comment will just be deleted and if you enjoyed this video please make sure to subscribe and make sure to like it let's get this one to 300 likes let's try to do it we can do it so like it and yeah I love you all so so much thank you for everything and bye